I'm David with Solar Edge Pros, and in this video, we'll reveal the questions people keep asking about battery backups. We've spent hours researching Reddit, Tweets, Quora, and all the corners of the web to find what questions homeowners have about battery backup power. And you won't believe what the most commonly asked question is. We even went on the streets of San Antonio to talk to local homeowners about what their questions are regarding backup batteries. By the end of this video, you'll know the facts on batteries. So if you ever speak with a solar rep, you'll know if you're getting a good deal or not. Does my home qualify for battery backups? All residential properties can have backup batteries installed. However, some properties may require additional electrical upgrades. Meeting with an energy consultant can help answer those installation questions specific to your home. An expert will also help determine the right battery for your home. As of 2024, there are hundreds of home battery companies, each one with a different set of strengths and weaknesses. Meeting with a professional will help prevent any future headaches. How many batteries do I need to power my entire home? In most cases, three or more batteries can power an entire two-story home for a few hours. It depends on how much energy you're using, if you want to power your HVAC, refrigerator, pool pump, and all the outlets in your home, then the power supply won't last very long. However, if you just want to power your kitchen and no AC, then your energy supply may last days or even weeks. Can my home be completely off grid? With the right mix of solar, battery power, and geography, yes. Solar and battery power are self-explanatory. Solar panels produce electricity, and batteries can store the excess for nighttime use. Geography refers less to the placement of the panels, although that is a factor, and more to the jurisdiction of your property. Some regulated areas of Texas cannot have their electric meter removed, including homes powered by CPS Energy. Property owners in these areas may be completely self-sufficient, but will still need to pay a monthly fee for their services from their utility company. So I'm out here with Mr. Woodhouse asking, him, what are some questions he has about backup batteries? So, Mr. Woodhouse, what is one of your dying questions that you're just waiting to get an answer for? What is the benefit of backup batteries? What is the benefit of backup batteries? Well, if you think you're gonna get a good ROI on a backup battery, you're not gonna get it, unfortunately. Instead, you get the peace of mind of never losing power in case you may have some emergency devices in your home. Can I control when my battery is turned on? Yes. Most batteries come with three different settings that can be programmed through a phone app. Self-consumption, time of use rate structure, and emergency mode. Self-consumption means power gets used in the following order. The solar panels, the batteries, and then the electric grid. Time of use rate structure allows the homeowner to schedule when power should be used from the batteries. This setting is extremely helpful for those with utility companies that charge more depending on the time of day and year. Lastly, emergency mode only turns on the batteries when the system detects a loss of power from the electric grid. Hey, you know what? I got a question. Let me go ask one of the consultants and see whether or not they've got an answer. Here, come join me. Let's see. Let's see if any of them are around here. See, not in there. Hello? Is anybody? Oh, hey, Dusty. What's up? Hey, I had a question for you about backup batteries. Hey, so real quick, how can a homeowner increase the lifespan of their backup batteries? Well, it's actually a great question. Um, one thing we want to look at is possibly putting them in a garage to reduce um, having the temperature above 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Um, so we can extend the life of that battery and that way you have more options. So if we do have a grid outage, so you can use the battery more when you really need it. Hey, all right. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Dusty. Right, no problem. Are battery backups loud? No. Batteries should not make noises, nor do they get crazy hot thanks to their internal cooling system. Which battery pairs well with solar panels? Just about all home batteries are equipped with the necessary components to work with solar panels. Enphase produces great home batteries, as well as Franklin and Pites. An energy consultant can help steer you to the right one for your home. Do I need solar panels to use home batteries? No, most energy storage devices do not require a solar panel system to charge. They can be charged by the electric grid, and some also offer standby generator charging capabilities. And now, the most asked question online. Drum roll, please. How long do battery backups last? 
Day to day, it depends on what they're powering. In terms of longevity, batteries can last decades, but most manufacturers only warranty them for 10 to 15 years. What affects the lifespan of a backup battery? Temperature and charge discharge cycles are the main factors. Batteries do not function as well as they should when internal temperature leaves a range of 40 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Fortunately, backup batteries have an internal temperature cooling system that keep it within that window under normal conditions. Charge discharge cycles refer to each time the power level changes in a battery, and each cycle sparks a chemical reaction using a finite amount of materials. Additionally, a complete discharge is more stressful on the battery than minimal cycles, meaning a greater decrease in longevity. A battery backup should far outlive its warranty as long as it rarely gets completely drained and stays at a reasonable internal temperature year round. I have one more question for you, David. Uh, oh, does this just come in? Yep. Can I install backup batteries myself? Technically, yes. However, it will require permits with the city and the utility company, as well as an inspection and commissioning. All of which can take a few months, maybe over a year if it's your first time. The representatives of the third parties I just mentioned develop relationships with local installation companies. They know who does a good job and who does it. If you're a new installer, it will require special additional attention on their part to make sure you're qualified for the job. So unless you plan on starting up an installation company, it's a lot faster and probably a lot cheaper to just hire a professional. On that note, if you're interested in going solar or having backup batteries installed, reach out today to Solar Edge Pros for a free home evaluation and we'll find out if it's a good fit for your home. You can call us at 210-401-9030 or visit us online at solaredgepros.com. And if you're still interested in learning more about backup batteries, great! Feel free to look around our channel for more information.